am going to build a giant raft using milk jug to see if I can actually float. Okay, here we go. But before we get to that, here are some ground rules. I can only use milk jugs, cardboard, and tape. Duct tape to be exact. And I need to make this work somehow. I have 40 milk jugs, and I'm going to attempt to make a giant raft out of it and see if I can float in the water. What's wrong with you? I missed. Using only this, duct tape, and cardboard, we're gonna make a giant raft. Let's go. We landed, let's go! I've been saving up these milk jugs for six months straight. This is a lot of milk we went through. I sure hope it's not a failure like our last video. Play that back, please. No, 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 no. That was a disaster. So I'm hoping to make this up for you guys. Let's go. Ah. So our basic idea is to create a layout like this with all the milk jugs. And then we're gonna wrap all the milk jugs in duct tape, like so. The whole idea is to make sure it's all wrapped this way and this way. And hopefully that creates a secure raft. And at the end, we're gonna put a bunch of cardboard on it so we can stand slash sit on it. Here we go. So these are our fancy dancy groups of two. After we make a bunch of groups of two, we're gonna combine them and make groups of four. Yay. Another group of two done. I ran out of the tape. What? Looks like we gotta go get some more. Well, like the last video. No, I gotta let, oh! See this? We're out of tape. We gotta go get some more. Let's go. Let's go. Have arrived. And we're back. Tape, check. Could you be a little quieter? <sighs> New tape smell. It smells horrible. So here's our layout. We made groups of two with the milk jugs. And now our next step is to combine each row of milk jugs. After that, we're gonna do it this way. So far, I think it's looking pretty good, pretty solid, and uh, I think it'll float. Let's do it. Oh, look at that. So far, building the raft was going quite smooth. Taping the milk jugs individually was a very good idea. While we were taping them, we could tell this was gonna be a very sturdy raft. Here's a row, here's a row, here's a row, and here is a row. Our next step is to combine them all together and hopefully float on it. Let's do it. So now we got all the tape on all the lids. It's like a shield. Oh yeah, what a workout. How's it going over here? It's, it's going good. We're finishing up on half the raft before we take both sides together. And it's looking really strong and tough. It's not really loose or anything. It's very sturdy and everything else. It's looking good. I think this is much better than our boat idea. That was stupid. I have no idea what we were thinking about doing the paper boat. It's paper. It's not gonna float in the water. And apparently we're out of tape. Hardware delivery. So guys, we're out of tape yet again. How many rolls is that now, like four? Three rolls. We've used three rolls on this thing. I guess let's get more tape. All right, look at this. Straight milk jugs and tape. Do you think this is gonna float? Yes, I do. All right, we're getting close. Oh, I can sit on it, let's go. Right now we have the milk jugs laid out and I have cardboard on it right now. I can sit on it. I just hope it floats. I think it will, personally. Let me lay on it. Yeah, this is looking pretty nice. We're almost done, let's finish it up. After over four hours of hard work and using our top tier engineering skills, our milk jug raft was entering the final stages of production. We added a layer of cardboard, then we were ready to test it. Thanks for the help for getting me out. Safety first. And here's the paddle that's gonna propel me. So here we are in a public park. Good thing there's not many people around here. Um, I hope this works. This was it. This was our true test to see if all of our hard work building this raft was gonna pay off. Coming into this, I was pretty confident. I felt like this raft was gonna float and it was very, very sturdy. All right, <clears throat> it's gonna enter the water. Is it floating? 
It's floating. Step one, getting in the water, check. All right, here we go. I don't know if this is gonna float. Oh. Okay, here we go. Mm, I, I, I might sink, I don't know. It's working. It's working. No way. How do I paddle? How do I do this? I'm just spinning around. Can I stand? Can I stand? Oh my god, I can stand. Oh my god. Hi there. This is legit. This works. Our video finally works. Okay, this sucks. I can't get anywhere. I am Say something. on milk jug. Oh my god. I can only sit in one position though. I don't dare sit any other way. I'm gonna sit crisscross applesauce like kindergarten. I should have brought my uh, kayak paddle. This is gonna suck. No one's watching us? Alright. I, in Warren, am floating on 40 milk jugs. Not many people in the world can say they've done that. Instead of buying a $4,000 boat, just save your milk jugs, use some tape, and you got your own. Boom! Money stonks right there. Just make your own boat. Hello! We're almost there. Boat review. Overall, very sturdy. I think there are some people watching us. If you ever go on a milk jug boat, make sure to bring a kayak paddle. This is going to take me years to get anywhere. It's actually working. I'm very surprised. I'm scared to go anywhere, but I got to do some content, so let's go. Let's go on a little adventure. Let's do it. Not getting anywhere. The milk jug raft was holding up surprisingly well, but whenever a wave came in, the water seeped through the cracks in between the cardboard. I felt water. <laughs> Point of view from me on this milk jug raft. I'm very surprised. I, our video actually worked for once, unlike the last one. You're really lucky. I know. You know yours is gonna work. <laughs> I mean, mine could literally sink at any second, but I'm doing it for you guys, so make sure to subscribe to Crafty Bros. It'd be appreciated. Pretty far out, there's the dock, and here's my cardboard thing. I never thought I'd be floating on 40 milk jugs. This is absolutely crazy. And in the future, I hope to do even crazier things like this. So here's our raft. Overall, it worked much better than our paper boat did. Surprisingly, this held up pretty well. Like I said before, don't spend thousands of dollars buying a boat. Just make one out of milk jugs. It's simple as that. If you do make one, however, make sure to buy a motor. This thing is pretty slow with that one. Thank you guys so much for watching Crafty Bros. Make sure to subscribe and hit the post notification bell. It would really mean a lot to us. Also, comment what you want us to do next, and we might just do it. See you in the next one. Also, shout out to Brayden Owens. Thank you for commenting and subscribing.